collapsed during a team workout this summer, went in a sudden cardiac arrest and was hospitalized. All indications are great on his health front, not yet ready and cleared for basketball. Exactly, however. yeah. But, I watch but there's a beach on campus. But forget about that. Come in, play immediately, and have a chance to go to the tournament every year and compete for the A-Sun title. That's a great selling point. Yeah, and it's one of the many reasons they've been so successful year over year in the A-Sun. Nine, ten guys in the rotation. Gillis starting to warm up for Ave Maria. Averaging over 11 points per game in his career. He has already upped that in the first four games this season. This is the fifth game for Ave Maria. This game will not count towards their record as Anderson hits... So that you're talking about your non-conference schedule actually affecting your postseason standing. And so they encourage teams in baseball to go play Power 5 teams. And you're seeing it across the board. A team like North Florida will play a bunch of Power 5 schools. FGCU this year, two of their first four games are against teams that could be... Jireen starting to find their footing a little bit here in the first half. But you're right, we may see quite a different look in the second half if this lead stays where it is. Miller, the fadeaway two is off the mark. Rivers, the offensive rebound, fights through two defenders and lays it in. And I think Dakota at first was going to bring that back. And I, be I beg your pardon, that was Moncacourt, but the Clicus brothers in there as well at the moment. Here is Miller, kicks to Johnston. Johnston, the floater, is good. Chase Johnston can score from just about anywhere. A few years ago, and since then, they've had some issues with mold in their gym. And so they don't have a gym to use. They use Donahue High School, which is out on Ave, Ave Maria, but they can only use that during non-school hours. So they're practicing at 5 in the morning. So this is a, a late. Clyde Curry of Southwest Florida athlete golf coast high school so got to be a little bit exciting for him to be able to play a game in front of his hometown home crowd started a little bit cr closer than uh, ave started his career at huntington university in indiana anderson missed inside a stop for ave really helps the group gel because there's a lot of new faces here but he's not one of them no and Cato, i think he would tell you that he did not have a great year last year prolific scorer here in southwest florida in high school had a little hip injury that he had surgery on and he looks so much better in tangibles that you you have out of these seniors yeah, he's a guy he could score 20 he could score zero but still be a positive for the team there's a three for Cato. he is a spot up shooter dakota rivers rejects it anderson pushing tempo for the eagles anderson thought about the three and will reset this is an athletic, experienced bunch for FGCU. Thompson, Bishop, Anderson, Rivers, Cato, all with at least three years of Division I experience. Downhill goes Bishop. Thompson from the wing open again. Isaiah Thompson with Hobi Owaka. Easy, Jim. Maybe the easiest he'll have all year. I think so. Slipped that screen and went down and found himself wide open. Good for the young man. Owaka just the freshman. Able to get his first basket of the night. The two-handed jam. Local Tennessee. Knoxville product. B.J. Edwards in the game for his first action tonight. Coach Barnes is really high on him as well. Likes his basketball IQ. Likes his work ethic as well. High recruit right here in Knoxville, as mentioned, is B.J. Edwards from Knoxville.